issue. I think what Sharon shared, or perhaps that annual approach, uh, either of those could work for you. Is that helpful? Yeah, that's totally confused. So I'm just going to ask one follow-up question. Sure. Do you believe that the guidelines that working. I think it's a lot more about our heart and our generosity. Let me use another uh, parallel example of our home. Um, we don't really think about tithing on the market difference of the cost of our home every single year. Um, it's more, well, what do we get out of it when we sell it? So I, I think with assets, it's, it's um, a more about how you're using it, what God calls you to do with it, where your goals are, and then having that generous heart and the thought of giving first. Melissa, it's been great to talk to you today. Thank you. All right. Well, I appreciate Melissa's heart there and the desire to give. And I think we have to navigate these things with the Lord. And sometimes it is helpful to have outside counsel. And I think a certified kingdom advisor can help with these kinds of questions as well. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And I think, you know, as we've talked about a lot, Sharon, you know, New Testament giving is giving freely. It's giving freely. Fortunately, it's giving out a gratitude and an expression back to God. It's a way we can demonstrate our trust in Him. And it is ultimately about our hearts. It's not that God is an accountant kind of saying, well, did they check the box this month? But it's really our heart posture in our giving. But we love the tithe as a guideline. It can be a great beginning point for your investing. And if you're going to apply that principle that we see throughout Scripture, clearly it was a part of the Old Testament Mosaic Law, what we would give off of our income. And so when we apply that principle of increase to an investment, it does come down to realized gains and losses when we talk about an asset. It is. And I think one of the things that we don't mention <coughs> as frequently is that there are actually ways to grow <coughs> assets. And so having that opportunity to work with a certified kingdom advisor and look at your entire portfolio, it may even be that there are assets that have realized gains within your portfolio that would be candidates to give the asset itself away. And that way you wouldn't have to take the gain. You could actually give it to a ministry <coughs> or 501c3 without taking the gain. On it. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that's where a donor advised fund can be really helpful. I mean, think about this like a charitable checking account. <coughs> you give, then sell whatever that asset is. So to Sharon's point, you give the stock away to your donor advised fund, you then sell it. Therefore, the capital gain isn't realized, and then you can recommend it be granted out to any charity or your church or ministry that you'd like. Very tax advantaged, so it allows us to be a wise giver and actually get more into kingdom work. And that's really helpful for the charity and for you as well. That's exactly right. We know, Rob, we were talking a little bit earlier about this uh, debt assessment and this live, give, oh, grow uh, pie that we're managing. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, one of the things I think is that uh, when we think about our debt, sometimes it's a big kind of cloud over our head. And um, I was just thinking, if, if I'm sitting listening to this, I might ask myself the question, why should I go take that debt assessment? I don't really want to know what all I've got. And I think that's really the first step is gathering it all together and then having a plan. So I want to encourage you, as we talked about debt at the top of the program, for you to go <coughs> to faithfi.com forward slash debt and answer a few simple questions. We have literally made it step by step so that you can have a plan and have confidence. And in fact, if you do that, I'd love for you to call us today or in the next couple of days and say, hey, here's what I've learned and I'm really excited to have a plan or I need help with my plan. And we'll get you some help too. Yeah, you know, when you can't see the path forward, you often kind of shy away from the issue, try to ignore it. You may have found yourself in the past when the credit card statements come in, you just kind of stick them in a drawer, don't even open the envelope because you just don't want to face it. And it's not because you don't want to honor your debt, you just don't know how you're going to do it. It goes back to that idea that Sharon just shared about having a plan. Well, that's where we think this debt assessment can be really helpful because as you do the hard work, let's open those envelopes, let's get all of our debts inputted into the debt assessment so we can see it, then we can start working on, okay, how long is it going to take me to pay it off? If I add an extra $50 a month, how quickly will that accelerate my debt payoff? Should I use the debt snowball or the debt avalanche? And what are those things? All of that can be right there in the debt assessment. So check it out today. There's no cost for it. It's just faithfi.com slash debt. Hey, Kathy, we know you're holding. We'll get to your call just around the corner. And we'll be right back on Faith and Finance. Our thanks to Certified Kingdom Advisor Wade Chessman, President and Wealth Advisor, and his team at Chessman Wealth Strategies in Dallas for their support of Faith and Finance. Their goal 
advances a culture where human life is valued and religious liberty thrives. Hello, this is Tony Perkins, host of Washington Watch, right here on the American Family Radio Network, inviting you to join us each weekend for the weekend edition of Washington Watch. For the latest from our nation's capital on what is happening as it pertains to faith, family, and freedom, you'll hear from policymakers, congressional leaders, and others each day, 4 p.m. Central Time. Be there. When it comes to choosing your financial advisor, someone who's aligned with your biblical values, how about someone who will take the time to explain your options? Certified Kingdom Advisors are professionals who meet high standards in competence and integrity, and have been trained to offer biblical financial advice. To find a certified Kingdom Advisor in your area, visit faithby.com and click Find a CKA. We are grateful for support from Sound Mind Investing in the Faith and Finance Program. If you have money in a retirement account or just a general investing account, you know the stock market can sometimes seem like a roller coaster. But it is possible to enjoy both profit and peace of mind in investing, no matter what's happening in the market. You can see a short video webinar on that topic at soundmindinvesting.org. Since 1990, Sound Mind Investing has sought to offer financial wisdom for living well. Soundmindinvesting.org. that you have in a typical month just to cover everything you need? Oh, uh, okay, let's see. And what I'm trying to determine okay, is... About, yeah, go ahead. about 15 to 1600 Okay, so you're spending about 1500 to 1600 more than your Social Security? Or that's the total? No, 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 no. That's, we're, we're in the Social Security. I'm able to some, like, okay, if it stays the way it was going, then I would be able to save, um, I see. Over 500. But, okay. You know, with special and deposits and all this stuff, you know? Yes, yes. No, that makes sense. Uh, do you, have you identified where you all are going in terms of where you're moving to and, and what the additional monthly expense would be?
because right now you're able to put a little bit aside every month, uh, but with all of your expenses going up and those moving expenses, obviously that's going to have to come out of your uh, your uh, 2000 in savings. Well, one of the things we want to do, and I want to get Sharon to weigh in on this, is we're going to have one of our certified Christian financial counselors reach out to you, Kathy. Uh, this is somebody who uh, you know, gives their time um, and has been trained to bring a biblical perspective of money management, but they specialize in debt repayment and budgets, and it will be somebody that can encourage you, but also really help you look at all of the numbers and potentially get a plan that will give you a little bit more peace of mind as to how are you going to get through this move, and then how are we going to make the budget balance when you move to that new uh, place and you have a, your budget looks a little bit different and your expenses are going up. There'll be no cost for that. We're going to cover the cost for it, but I think that'll give you hopefully somebody to walk alongside you and actually help you create a plan. But Sharon, what are your thoughts for Kathy? Well, I'm thinking a couple of things, Kathy. One is you all are givers, and sometimes as givers, we also need to learn to be good receivers. And so, one of my questions is, do you have a church body that you're a part of that? Um, you might present this need and have somebody, not only the certified uh, Christian financial counselor, but also uh, somebody locally there that can walk alongside of you, uh, potentially might even have a benevolence fund that could help with this one-time expense for the move. Because it seems like um, you're doing okay on the monthly bills if you could get past this move. to your church family in Louisiana, to, to um, your real family, to friends. Um, this is a place where God designed us to be in a body, and the body of Christ.